Sooner or later, you're going to run into the dreaded shooting in a low light scenario. And while the solution to me has always been just add a little bit of light whenever possible, sometimes it's not possible. So the UX cameras have various tools that you can employ that may be able to help the situation. Maybe not, maybe. I'm going to tell you what they are. You can decide if they're appropriate for your usage. First of all, the UX90 has a mode called low light mode. That sounds promising, right? So you can assign this to a user button or you can just turn it on in the system mode menu. And when you go into low light mode, the camera reaches, it's like, to me, it's like a Hail Mary pass. It throws every tool it's got at the problem. It can ramp up the gain up to 30 dB. It can lower the shutter speed. It really tries to give you every ounce of image that's there. So it'll work. It will get you that image. It just may be pretty grainy because of the use of so much gain. There's only so much the camera can do by itself. So it has to start going to gain to draw this image out of there. There's not really anything magical that low light mode does that you couldn't do yourself. You know, you can assign the high gain to be 30 dB. You could assign the shutter speed to be slower. The thing about the low light mode is it's a one button press that just takes over. The other thing is it only works when you're in automatic mode. It has to have automatic control over everything so that it can do its magic and give you that bright image. If you're going to use low light mode, you might want to up the noise reduction level a little bit just to, to try to keep that grain a little bit under control. That's for the UX90. UX180 does not have that low light mode. Instead, it has something that it calls high sense for high sensitivity. And it's in the same place, the system mode menu. And high sense, what that basically does is it adds about 6 dB worth of gain. So one f-stop brighter. And then simultaneously, it employs a little bit of noise reduction to cancel out the additional grain that was caused by adding the gain. So when you turn high sense mode on, it's like your camera becomes twice as sensitive while having a roughly comparable level of grain. So that's pretty cool. The high sense mode works pretty well. The only thing I'm going to say about it is there's a reason why you don't want to leave it on all the time. And that's because sometimes you're not shooting in low light scenarios. And so when you're in adequate light, bright light, outdoors maybe, you don't really want the camera sensitivity to be up to 1000 ISO. UX180 is about 500 ISO native sensitivity. In high sense, it goes to about a thousand. You don't necessarily need it to be at a thousand ISO, so you'll get cleaner, better pictures if you turn high sense off. And in fact, you can turn on the negative gain, get that gain down to negative three dB, and you actually make the images even a little bit cleaner there. So high sense mode is great for indoors if you need it. Outdoors probably wouldn't do it there. What happens if you end up in a no light scenario? You can actually shoot in pitch black darkness as far as visible light, you know, light that sense human eyes are sensitive to. The UX180 can record using only infrared light. So if you are documenting wildlife at night and you don't want them to be scared away by visible lights, you can set up some infrared lights and then turn on the infrared recording mode on the camera and it will actually be able to see in what looks like pitch darkness. Infrared light also shows up based on heat. So like a campfire or something will be putting out a lot of infrared light. So you might be able to get a brighter image by going into infrared mode. When you turn on infrared mode, all the camera exposure goes into automatic. It ramps up the iris all the way to maximum. It disables the neutral density filters. So it's really only for a very low light or no light scenario. If you wanted to try to use infrared mode for maybe an artistic effect, like you just want that infrared look, to your footage, you can get a greenish night vision look. But if you're doing that during daytime, you'll probably need to add some external neutral filters to make sure that you're not grossly overexposing the image. And you can also on the UX180, you can change that look. It can be the night vision look, or you can tell it to use a white palette so that it renders the image in shades of gray, you know, black and white, not having any color tint at all to it. So there's three different methods you can use, depending on which camera you have to approach low light scenarios. In my opinion, the best solution is still to just add a light. <laughs> but if you don't have that option, the UX180 and the UX90 have a way to help you accomplish your goal anyway. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this interesting and helpful. And be sure to stay tuned to this channel to see the other videos in this series. Panasonic.